Do you remember that time when three nurses had to hold you down as a kid for fear of getting a shot? The blood, the piercing, the pain. Getting impaled is almost no one's idea of a good time. No one enjoys getting shots, but some people hate needles to the point where they suffer from trypanophobia, fear of injections, blood tests, and the like for pretty obvious reasons. So if you're one of the many people feeling nauseous at even the thought of flu shot season, we talk to some people who work around needles all day for tips on coping. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So make sure you watch the video to the end, hit the red button to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. Let's get into it. Having a fear of needles is fairly common. Plenty of kids, teens have anxiety connected with getting shots or having their blood drawn, which can make them avoid seeing healthcare providers when they need to. And by the time most people reach adulthood, they can tolerate needles much more easily. But for some, a fear of needles stays with them into adulthood. Sometimes this fear can be extremely intense. Why is that? While doctors aren't sure why some people develop phobias and others don't, certain factors lead to the development of this phobia. Negative life experiences or previous trauma brought on by a specific object or situation. Relatives who've had phobias, which may suggest genetic or learned behavior. Fainting or severe dizziness as a result of having a vasovagal reflex reaction when pricked by a needle. Bad memories and anxiety, such as memories of painful injections that can be triggered by the sight of a needle. Fear of restraint when receiving injections. So how can you tell if you have a fear of needles? Symptoms are present when a person sees needles or is told they will have to undergo a procedure that involves needles and begin to show signs of dizziness, fainting, anxiety, insomnia, panic attacks, racing heart rate, feeling emotionally or physically violent, and avoiding or running away from medical care. If any of these describe you, well, you're not alone. So when next time your doctor asks you to roll up your sleeve, try these tips. Remember the discomfort only lasts for a couple of seconds. Having that in mind will help you think happy thoughts and plan a way that you can reward yourself when it's over, such as getting a special treat, like an ice cream cone. Eventually, you'll begin to connect having shots with a special treat rather than pain. Ha <laughs> ha! Express your fear. Tell your healthcare providers and a parent about your fear of needles so they can help you devise ways to use distraction to get through the shot or lab test. Ask your provider about special numbing medicine. There is a numbing cream that your healthcare provider or lab may be able to use. You'll just need to plan as it needs to be applied to the skin where the shot will be given about 30 minutes before the shot. Distract yourself while you're waiting. Bring along a game, a book, movie or music, something you'll get completely caught up in instead of sitting in the waiting room thinking about the shot. Concentrate on taking slow, deep breaths. Breathe down into your belly. Deep breathing can help people relax and concentrating on something other than the shot can take your mind off of it. Think about how the message on a health awareness poster might affect you. Whatever it takes, keep focusing on something other than the shot until it's over. Fear of needles can result in stressful episodes that may or may not involve panic attacks. It may also lead to a delay in necessary medical treatment. This could hurt you if you have a chronic condition or experience a medical emergency. So it's important to get this phobia treated. Have you found any of these tips useful? Let's hear your personal experience of needle shots in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos from Brilliance.